Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Heather Schwartz. I'm an intuitive guide, energy worker, and hypnosis practitioner. And I work with people, perhaps like you, who are sensitive, energetically attuned, and who want to feel more empowered and supported from the inside out through intuition and energy work and working with our subconscious minds. So in this video, I want to share with you a story. And the topic is how to tell the difference between anxiety, wishful thinking, and intuition. So the story, I was driving along and I saw all these big black birds, huge black birds, 40 of them or more on someone's rooftop. And they were turkey buzzards and turkey vultures. And I immediately went to a place in my mind, maybe it was the state of mind I was in of like, oh my God, what does that mean? Is something terrible going to happen? Is someone in my family going to die? Am I going to have something terrible again to deal with? And then my mind started to kind of loop of like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And, but I know enough to pause and be like, oh, that's my ego mind. That's my scared amygdala place. I had a reactive response okay, I've been a clinical psychologist. So I was like, okay, pause that. And I just want to pause this here and say that intuition and anxiety feel very different. If you've ever received a download or heard your intuition or felt it or saw it, it feels neutral. It feels good. It feels uplifting. It's meant to empower us. It's really our soul's compass it's not scary. And even when information comes in that you don't want to hear, it comes through in a very neutral way. And then what part of what I'm learning and teaching is that you can have a, a two-way conversation with your intuition so that you're able to get more information about what the situation means. And in this case, when I saw the birds and I knew it was a signal for me, I knew because my intuition was like, tugging on me, like, look over there, look over there. This is for you. I knew that it was for me. And yet my thinking and ego mind and fearful place that I went to was like, oh, what does this mean? And, you know, we're human and we're souls. So we're always working on how to bring more of our souls into um, our lives. And if you're a spiritual person, you know, like when you bring more of your spiritual self into your life, more of your soul, your soul's energy, it lifts your life and your human self can be supported. The image I get is kind of like our ego self is like a child on a swing and it's being buffeted and pushed and allowed to play a bit because it can surrender to our intuition when we fully learn to trust its purpose and trust its messages and decode them. So in this situation, after I calm myself down by breathing, and I did the four, seven, eight breath where you breathe in for four, pause for seven and exhale for eight. It's a great breath if you're feeling anxious, by the way. I did that, got out of the car, walked around, petted my dogs, and then I felt better. And then I asked my intuition and my intuition said, why don't you look it up? So I looked it up and the meaning of the turkey uh, vultures is, you know, being someone who can see treasure and trash, someone who is actually buffeted by warm winds, who can receive the bounty of what's already in your life now. It was such a positive message, which my thinking ego mind was not really understanding. Can you relate? Yeah. So my message to you, oh, and then I have to say, and then I asked my intuition for more clarity after I got one part of it. I asked her more clarity, like, tell me more about how this relates to me. And it said, you know, you're a person who can see the treasure and what's challenging. You know, you, you are in a place right now where you're receiving the bounty of your life and appreciating and feeling gratitude and more is coming and it feels very, very good and you can cleanse negative energy. And isn't that awesome? And it is. And so what I want to say to you is that 
anxiety and worrying is a very different energy and you want to shift it before you interpret or read cards um, or have a question. You might try scheduling a conversation with your intuition, whatever that looks like to you, whether you hear it or you receive it through writing to your intuition or you get downloads, you might schedule, say, every day at two o'clock, you know, if you have a break or 12 o'clock, sit let your mind be open, maybe meditate. Or if you don't like meditating, just breathing and listening to the sounds in nature or in your house. And then ask your intuition questions and the answers will arrive. They may arrive in a different form than you think. You wanna be open to how they arrive. And how you receive intuition is maybe how you always receive it, but you can change that. You can open to other forms like visual forms or physical forms, however that might be. What I mean by that is you might feel something and understand it. You might hear intuition like I do. You might see an image or a symbol in your mind and work with your intuition in that way. You might just know that's claircognizance. And that can be hard for people because when you're claircognizant and when you're claircognizant, information may just drop in without you knowing how. And you might think, oh, that's just me. And it is. And it also isn't, it's your intuition talking to you. And you know it because it's surprising. It's not what you would normally think. So I know this video is getting long, so I'm gonna stop it. But my message to you is your intuition is here to support you as a compass, as a guide. It's here to uplift and empower you. It's, an, it's a resource we're all born with, no one, no one else. We're, we're, no one is unique and doesn't have it, but you may have blocks that are preventing you from experiencing it. And the first thing to do is to calm yourself so that you can receive the bounty and the beauty that is available within you. Bye for now.